Hey everyone, welcome back. I just wanted to go over a recap of the Lexus Parallel Giant Slalom event as there were some extremely interesting results. So we will discuss the winners and who is Paula Moulton and the new breakout young superstar skiers in the men's. Who are they and will they do well this year? Who knows? Also, I want to explain the new rules for the Parallel GS as it is different this year as well. So let's get into it. The new rules this year is a 30 meter GS ski and the gates are set between 16 to 20 meters and the morning qualifications each racer does one run in each course and they are combined times of these two runs and they are placed numerically in order from fastest to slowest and the top 16 fastest combined times move on to the finals. In the finals if a racer DNFs they only get 0.5 penalty going into their next run, which I found pretty interesting. Also this year there are no jumps, which the racers I think prefer, but I think as a spectator it's a little bit more fun with the jumps. Personally I found this setup really exciting to watch. It kept me on my toes the whole time and another great thing about this setup is that some unknown skiers get to shine, showing that start numbers in the other races has a huge impact on how certain athletes can perform. Ski racing is such a tricky thing to make fair as the snow changes so much from the last run to the first run and people that are starting back in 70th position definitely have an uphill battle. This parallel GS format is definitely down to attrition and consistency and would be extremely exhausting physically but also mentally with the adrenaline spikes. I could only imagine how their brains felt after the race. There were a few breakout stars in these races which always excites me personally. I'll go over a few here that I found really interesting. Samuel Bissig, 22, fourth World Cup race in three years and hasn't really had any results to speak of in the past. Who knows what he'll do this winter? He seems like a bit of a wild card. Artle Lee McGrath, 20 years old from Norway, who was born in Vermont, USA. He won the overall on the Europa Cup last year and the overall GS2 and is a little bit of a breakout star in this race as he is very strong in all disciplines where he has podiumed in all of them except for downhill where he's had a fourth in the Europa Cup. His dad is from the US and he raced in the World Cup as well from 1984 to 1990 so he obviously has some good ski genes. I'm really excited to see more from him this season. I think this kid has a lot of potential and his slalom skiing is exceptional. This is a video from his YouTube channel, which I'll link in the description below so you can check that out. Which brings me to the next question. Who is Paola Moulton? This mysterious second place finisher in the women's race. I think she could have won this event without the last crash as she got the two fastest runs in on both courses during the knockouts at the night portion of the race. But Petra showed her experience and kept her calm and didn't make a mistake. And that's what it's all about. You can't make mistakes in this. She is 26 years old and a silent specialist. She raced for UVM where my mum went to college as well, it's a great school, and she's been flying under the radar a bit as she hasn't had any notable finishes in slalom, with her best results coming in at 12th two seasons ago in Flakau. A few other finishes, mostly between 20th and 30th place, but she hasn't been able to finish most of her races. In 2015 in Norway, she won gold at the World Junior Championships in slalom, so that's a pretty significant thing. An interesting thing that most people don't know about her is this year in the Solden race, she started with bib 62 and went down to 17th on her first run. And then on the second run, she got the fourth fastest time. So she obviously has some serious skills and it seems like GS skis suit her better. She is super powerful on those skis and extremely strong on her edges. And that's what showed in this parallel slalom race. And finally, Pinterot and Petra are the two winners for the men's and women's respectively. I won't go into too much detail with either one as I have just covered Petra in my last analysis, which I'll link in the description so you can watch that. But Pinterot is now the only man to win six different disciplines from parallel GS all the way to Super G, matching Michaela Schifrin, and he is the most successful active World Cup ski racer for the men currently. Pintero is one of my favorite all-round skiers and I'll do a technique breakdown of him in a future video as he has so many finer details to his skiing that what makes him great. I look forward to the men's GS in Santa Catarina next weekend. If you're interested in improving your skiing, you should definitely check out projectedproductions.com. Also, if you're interested in these types of videos, please hit the subscribe button and share with a friend and I'll see you guys next time.